Hey everybody, welcome to Nick Bunny's Counter Strike Global Offensive Top 10, estimated by you, the viewer, nickcsgo at gmail.com. In this episode, we're giving away a night with Eric Tell. If you guys would like to enter a chance to win a night with Eric Tell, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, you could also leave a like because it helps this video series. Also, thank you, Eric, for donating this night for the top plays. Fifi, no, no, said he hasn't seen anybody die by a flash smoke or decoy. In the last episode, I showed you somebody getting killed by a decoy. And today, we're going to start with a bonus clip that's coming from Cheese Farts. I don't want to give away what's about to happen, but I left all the UI here so you can see that it is a legit game and it's not a setup. So let's see what happened. How about I break it down for you guys in slow motion? Cheese Farts is gonna throw a smoke from Cat and then it's gonna bounce off the pizza sign and it's gonna hit in the head the guy that's camping on a site. Well, Fifi No No, don't ever say that here on the top leaves. We don't care about our audience. For our first countdown clip, we're gonna go to Mirage with Mr. Solid Disc who's using a AK. It's currently one versus five and the counter terrorists are pushing into T spawn where he is currently cornered. However, the big problem that the counter terrorists have is their communication because there are not not rushing him all together they're going in one by one and in just a couple of seconds solid disc and made it a one versus one now you would think that this clip is gonna end here no he's gonna make his way to a side throw a smoke down and then he's gonna plant the bomb as he was checking ct spawn here something outside comes back out of the smoke he gets the ace the bomb has been planted wins the round what a way to start his top 10 plays moving down the list to number nine i wanted to show you guys a little bit of variety and metal farmer is gonna do that for me by using a bison so he's currently defending a side and the terrorists are about to push on ramp so he gets two of them very easily and then there's one more to make it a three but that's not enough to make it in the top place so as he reloads his weapon and goes back in the same spot the other two rush up and he gets another two to make the ace for our next clip we go on the other side of dust two at b bomb side with top the dude misses his first shot but then gets a double kill with the nova oh but he's not done he takes out the bomb carrier no there's two enemies left he rushes him in takes out the guy by car and then gets the ace he's gonna be rich the next round to keep things interesting how about we go to a bonus clip and i'm not really sure about this one it seems to be a competitive game so it's a legit game and if this really happened oh my gosh the other team sucks so murphy is being a ninja in plain sight he's watching the enemy plant the bomb so he's just gonna go over and he's gonna start defusing as soon as the enemy planted the bomb and then he gets the ninja defuse in plain sight not only that but he also gets a kill jumping back on the countdown train we're heading over to inferno with bajarg he's currently in pit and gets a beautiful headshot as he's defending bombsite hey he hears the enemies pushing in there's going to be one enemy at quad and as he's shooting at that there's going to be one coming from balcony he's going to jump on pit but he's going to take him out pretty easily he knows there's one guy in quads and here's a bomb being planted on site at the same time now he's taking out three of them so he knows there's only two enemies left the bomb's been planted right in front of him so there's one enemy on site but there has to be a fifth guy somewhere he sees him in library and takes him out knows the last guy is on site so he's going to play a little peekaboo with the guy to see if he can get him and the enemy makes the mistake to peek a little more and Bajorka gets him and you might be wondering why did I fast forward that part well he's been very low this whole time 6 HP for our number 6 spot we go over on the other side of Inferno to bomb side B with a Kika yup you guessed it he's Russian starts off the clip by getting two fast picks one on bench one on side and now they're behind van and they're trying to push onto site see somebody in market puts a couple of bullets in him but he can't finish him off see somebody coming from apartments then he's gonna switch over to burst mode and he's gonna jump pick this guy off then he's gonna switch back over to semi-automatic and he's gonna put more shots on the guy in bench as he reloads he checks apartment and he sees there's one more apartment one guy in bench he's gonna try to take out the guy in bench and he does so he knows that the last guy is in apartments so he does what he should do picks up the bomb and then he goes to plant it after he plants the bomb he takes a defensive position just hiding from the guy in apartment because all he has to do is defend the bomb he doesn't have to put himself in harm's way he does hear the guy jumping down from apartments when he hits the ground as he's going over to bench there's gonna be a little bit of exchanging of bullets and i really thought he was gonna get him there's damage on both sides so right now it's just a matter of who who's gonna go down first and he actually manages to get the ace but this is one of those aces that he really worked for congratulations for making it through half the top list at number five we have mehu Sieni. i'm probably butchering that but this is one of those insane clips the only thing that's annoying me about this clip is his crosshair i'm not a hater i'm a judger and the only thing is every time he shoots his crosshair moving is just so distracting so i don't know how he does it but good for him but in case you missed what happened he has taken out four enemies so far he's gone through two pistols and he's on low hp all he has 
has to do right now because he's our number five clip is to get five frags and he does good job dude that was a lot of action in the first part i hear you want bonus clip okay i give we go with slicer m1 take scout just three beautiful headshots in the face because the face is in the head jumping back to the number four spot we have lord of the rings the return of the king because the king is back with another top play and he is defending bomb side b on banana and he just gets four frags super fast but he ain't finished yet because the king needs to get his ace and on two hp he gets the ace starting off our number three with a quote if you're dying suddenly everybody loves you that's right dr house is about to make the enemy team very very loved he's in apartments with an op and you kind of never see an op in apartments but he's making it work he's taken out four of them there's only one of them left and he decides that he wants his ace and then that's exactly what he gets our runner up today is core who's playing on nuke and he's defending ramp he's got an op looking at radio and then he gets a kill through the smoke as he's flash takes another shot doesn't connect with him then he looks behind headshot box because knows there's one gonna be coming gets in mid air knows the enemies are gonna be pushing and gets a quick kill then he's gonna get the guy on silos and then he's gonna go for a quick fast one to the last guy good job dude and now ladies and gentlemen our number one clip of the day is brought to you by twitch tv for slash neck bunny and it's not in any way shape or form affiliated with this clip but if you watch streams you should follow me you might be wondering what's happening right here well it's a one versus five the terrorists have the bomb planted and mr neutral is about to do some work he's already taken out two of them picked up an ak he's gonna get the guy on stairs here's a guy that came up on scaffolding so he's gonna look for him takes him out now it's a one versus one the last guy is in jungle and neutral is having a little standoff and then he jumps down on site he's currently on 18 hp so he has to play it carefully fake defuses the bomb then he's gonna put a couple of shots into the enemy doesn't quite finish him as he picks on the going gets the headshot and then he starts defusing the bomb for the ace for the clutch for the great job dude that was an awesome clip ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode as always feedback is welcome if you'd like to enter a chance to win the knife all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section down below and while you're doing that you can also leave a like because it helps this video and this channel thank you so much eric tell for donating the knife for the top plays giveaways if you'd like to submit your play for the top plays all you have to do is send me an email at nixcsgo at gmail.com with the clip or the demo everything you want to know can be found in the description below other than that that's about it for right now i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next week with another one bye i said i was gonna do that again more bonus clip which is on the map that i used to play a ton of in cz in 1.6 we see him with a scout sees one enemy no scopes him and doesn't get a kill hold on a second because he fires a shot and there's a message in the kill feed let's see what happens from this beautiful angle ah he takes out somebody in t-spawn coming back to the countdown and once again making me jealous with the swag 7 we have hitler's beat